this is the new year and it might be that time for you to update that old mattress. However, getting a new one, that's a pretty big decision. So Ashley Kirkland this morning is at Shunk Furniture in Nagani Township and uh, giving us some advice on how to do that. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. Well, if we're getting proper rest, we're spending about one third of our lives in bed. And so that means making a, making a decision to get the proper mattress is going to be vital for your back health. And if you're like me, I do a lot in bed. I, I eat, I uh, watch TV, you know, you just kind of, it's like your sanctuary at home. So you want to make sure to choose the right mattress. We're here at Shunks Furniture. It's going to be a pretty restful day for me. They're just going to let me test out some mattresses and I'm, I'm going to talk to them about how to choose proper choose the correct mattress when you know it's time for you to get a new mattress and all other kinds of questions we have surrounding our back health and our sleep health really because that's what it comes down to so we'll be back with that Vicki Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Nagani Township TV6 News. All right thank you very much Ashley and for those of you who are just waking yeah, up know having morning. a great place to rest your head can help you look forward to your time getting into bed and waking up instead of just worrying how long you're going to get to sleep. Ashley Kirkland joins us at Shunks Furniture this morning on how to choose a really great mattress. Ashley? Well, Vicki, I can attest to having a horrible mattress and it, it's a complete nightmare for sleeping. So we're here at Shunk's Furniture in Nagani Township and I'm here with Carl Shunk Jr. and he's going to help us pick out great mattresses to make sure your back health is great. Carl, thanks so much for being here this morning. Now, the first thing we need to know is when do we know it's time to change out an old mattress? When you're no longer sleeping well. Okay. Um, that's really the best way to do it. If you're not sleeping well, it's time to change your bed. And I've heard different things that every eight years or 10 years you need to change it out. It, does that matter about the amount of time? I don't think you should put a time restraint on us. When you're no longer comfortable, you're no longer sleeping well, you know, your body changes every year. Um, I, I wouldn't wait eight years if you're not sleeping well now. It's okay. just kind of foolish. Okay, <laughs> there we go. There, it's as simple as that. So next question is how do we go about choosing a new mattress? Well, which, the best thing you can do is lay on them and find what's comfortable for you. You want to stay with a quality product, which we carry, uh, the largest brands and the best brands. Mm -hmm. But you don't necessarily want to buy a bed just because it's the one that your best friend bought and he's sleeping great because everybody's different. Yeah. Um, body sizes are different, body types, you know, support needs are different. So you want to come in and see what's most comfortable for you. Okay. And, and not necessarily buy the most expensive bed if that's not the most comfortable for you. That isn't the way to do it either. Right. Um, and you can find, you guys have a lot of great beds here in the name brands. You can find a good bed on a budget. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we have the best quality products for any budget. Okay. Um, no matter what people want to spend, you know, our trained sales staff will take you through and show you the best bed for your budget if you have a budget. Um, okay. Yeah. So when people come in, like I like I am, how what what do we do? We just go, and you have so many mattresses here. Can we, I just plop on one well, of them? For instance, what I set up here is just kind of a little uh, test sample of, of the large selection of beds we have, but some of our most popular. So what we have right here is an adjustable air bed from Tempur-Pedic. Um, this allows you to adjust the bed to your personal comfort settings, you know, you and your sleeping partner. Mm -hmm. So if someone likes the one side of their bed a little firmer, the other one likes it a little softer, you can self-adjust that. Um, the bed in the middle here, what this is, is this is a hybrid bed, and this is a combination of cool gel memory foam and an inner spring unit for customers who maybe want that memory foam feel but don't want the entire memory foam feel, don't want to get too far away from a traditional mattress. This is a really nice marriage between the two. And then on the end, we have you know very popular, um, world-renowned Tempur-Pedic, which is all foam um, and has its own unique feel. Okay. And I wouldn't say one's better for you than the other. It's just a matter of whatever your body tells you it likes. Okay, so I'm going to plop on each of these beds to see how it feels, and you kind of tell me what I should do and how I should lay as I put, get on the beds. Okay. Okay, there you okay. go. <laughs> okay. So, what I have you do is lay down, put your feet up on the bed. Um, how do you typically sleep? On your side and your back? You want to lay on the bed in that manner. Okay. Now, with Tempur-Pedics, you want to lay on these for about 7 to 10 minutes because they are body heat activated. So as you lay there, you're going to slowly feel this bed conform to your body. And what these do is they help to reduce pressure points on your body. They're going to allow the heavier portions of your body, like your hips and shoulders, to settle into the bed, but maintain proper spine alignment. Um, so you want to lay on that bed for a little bit of time. Now, what I can say about that bed is it's a little low for me, and it's a little firmer than what I like, so we'll try the next one. Okay. Now, what this bed has in it is a memory foam feel but it has an inner spring unit underneath. So it has a little softer feel. It's still going to encompass your body. It's going to reduce pressure points on your body. And comfort-wise between the two, what did you prefer? I would say I preferred this bed. It has a little bit more of that pillow top than that bed did. OK. 
Okay, and what this is, this bed right here is an air adjustable bed. Um, and then what we would do is actually find a certain comfort setting that you prefer. Would you like the softer, firmer? And we can self-adjust that to your particular comfort preference. And then um, that's the advantages of these particular okay. beds. And this bed actually lifts up. So out of these three beds, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about which bed is actually best for my sleeping pattern and my back and, and just my, my body in general and your activity in life. So we'll be back with that, Vicki, uh, to choose how to pick the proper mattress. Ashley Kirkman reporting live in Nagani Township, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Keeping Ashley. you from a good night's sleep. It could be your old lumpy mattress. Ashley Kirkland joins us again from Shunks Furniture to talk more about buying the right mattress. How's it going, Ashley? Well, Sam, when you don't get a good night's sleep, that can offset your whole day and it makes it a horrible day. So you want to make sure to have the right mattress so you'll have a good night's sleep. And I'm here with Carl Shunk Jr., Shunk's Furniture in Nagani Township. Thanks again for being here this morning. So what exactly, we're sitting on this nice Tempur-Pedic bed. What exactly is underneath this? Well, actually, what this bed is a combination of cool gel memory foam and an inner spring unit underneath. It's actually the Tempur-Pedic's behind us, which is all foam. This is a Stearns and Foster. It's a hybrid bed. And this is kind of a marriage between a traditional inner spring mattress and an all foam bed or a memory foam, yeah. um, if you will. But this is the one you prefer the comfort of. So, yeah. yeah, this is the one I did prefer the comfort of. It has a little bit more of that pillow top. But as you can see, I'm trying to jump up and down. And it's not as springy as the old school mattress. Why is that? Well, the memory foam takes a lot of that rebound out of there, which is uh, really beneficial. It doesn't give a lot of motion transfer. It, you know, conforms to your body, but it reduces motion transfer. So if you and your partner are sleeping in bed, someone gets up in the middle of the night, you don't get that disturbance in your sleep. Okay. And so what do these Tempur-Pedic beds, because they're really popular, what do they do for your sleep health in general? Well, what they do is they help to reduce pressure points on your body, which is really important. That's pressure points is what cause people to toss and turn and get it like a restless night's sleep, but they maintain proper spine alignment. Um, some other benefits to these beds is you can actually get them with an articulating base, which all of our beds are adaptable to that. So this will enable you to sit up in bed. And right now you're raising, you're raising the back of the bed. Yeah. And you can bring the head up, you can bring the feet up. So it's uh, pretty beneficial. I mean, uh, I use ours every night. I'm on my feet a lot during the day. A lot of days, you know, eight to 12 hours a day, I'm on my feet. So at night it's nice to sit, you know, lay in bed, elevate your feet, uh, elevate the head if you have any sort of respiratory issues, acid reflux, yeah. sinus pressure, anything like that. Okay. Now, an important question, is the waterbed coming back? <laughs> well, I don't know if it'll ever go away, but it's not quite as popular as it once was. Yeah. I think a lot of the, you know, modern airbeds are, are uh, taking its place. Yeah, and are these airbeds, like, that was a big trend back in the 80s and 90s. Are these just another trend that we see, or is this something that was really health tested and, and, and good for our back, our back and our sleep? Well, the, the air beds, like, for instance, what Tempur-Pedic produces, it has three separate air chambers, so you can adjust the middle of the bed. Um, to your certain light, so it prevents any hammocking like you might get in lesser quality products that just have simply one air bladder. Okay. It's personal preference. Yeah. And lastly, with these newer beds, is the box spring as important as it is with the older mattresses? Yeah. I think quality foundation is very important. Now, if you get an adjustable base, you don't need a, a box spring. Obviously, that will work, and you can work, you know, use those in a traditional headboard, footboard option, or anything like that. But it is important. Yeah, yeah. you want to have good support underneath your bed. Yeah. Well, thanks, Carl. And if you're interested in learning about a new mattress, come visit Carl down at Shunks Furniture in Nagani Township. Make sure you get a good night's sleep. It's really important. Also, make sure to stick around for more of your TV6 morning news.